watching Eagle Access. It's your man Amari Collins here with Eagle Access live at the first Wild Out Wednesday. It's Amari Collins here at Wild Out Wednesday, the first Wild Out Wednesday of the school year, and I'm with Cooper Blackwell, my man. So, Coop, uh, about Wild Out Wednesday, how are you enjoying this event, and who has been your favorite performer so far? Um, I love everybody's performance. Um, all together, everybody's cohesive. The event is going very, very smooth, and the crowd reaction is amazing, Amari. Like, it's great. I just love Wild Out Wednesday, and they need to keep doing it, definitely. We're going to keep going on with Wild Out Wednesday. So at the end, is it like a winner or what happens? Out? Just tell us a little bit about Wild Out Wednesday. What, what happened? Okay, basically Wild Out Wednesday is a showcase where everybody gets to perform their talents and show what they got pretty much. Um, it's, cent it's featuring Central's best, Central's finest. So I'm sure it's going to be a winner or so, but everybody's a winner here. You know how we get down. Right? Well, everybody's a winner here at the Eagle Family. I'm about to get off the mic so I can see Central's best yeah. perform tonight here at Wild Out Wednesday. Appreciate it. It's D.H. from Sutton here with the beautiful Grammy Award winning songwriter, the beautiful soloist, Miss Chrisette Michelle. And I just want to ask her a couple of questions about her career and what inspires you to be you. Yeah, I mean, I am me. And <laughs> yeah. that's really important to me to stay myself. I know that sounds really vague, but sometimes I have to look from within to be inspired, you know, and not be afraid of being embarrassed or ashamed of, of what I find when I go inside. Uh, writing about that and singing about that can be really, really scary at times, uh, but it's okay to be inspired by yourself. Right, so how does it feel to be here at North Carolina Central University? It feels good. Uh, it's always a wonderful, wonderful energy when I'm around young people who had the same ambitions as I did. My mother and my father uh, were well-educated and so were their parents and their sisters and brothers as well. Uh, so that was what started education in my life. Uh, when I went to college, I decided that I was going to study education just like my mom and dad. I just put together a website. It took me about a year to put it together. It cost me about $12,000. You guys have friends in here that could do all of that for you, do your graphics with you, pick out all the color schemes together, and have a website. It might take some time because you got a lot of studying to do in between, but you guys don't sleep, do you? So before I go, I just want to say, guys, I wish you so much success, all the blessings. I mean, and I always say to everyone uh, who's, who's young, uh, in heart or in real life, to find your face in history. There's probably somebody who's been here before you have that you love and admire. Uh, for me, it's, uh, like I said, Diana Ross, it's Sarah Vaughn, it's Tyrell Banks. You know, there's somebody who you love that went before you that you can follow, that you can uh, take a look at. Read all the biography books, uh, study about all the ladies and men that you love uh, because they were uh, put here first to show you how to do it today. I love you so much. God bless you. Peace. CCU, it's Clark Tanner here once again in the calf. Now we're about to switch things up for you. What I'm about to do is play a game of NCCU trivia. So I got my homeboy Quay here me right now, and we're about to have our contestant number one. So we're gonna go ahead and get this game started, okay? You ready, Quay? I'm ready. You ready? You you know? know. You know about your campus? No. You sure you know NCCU? All right. So go ahead and tell me where is the campus pantry located? Uh, that'll be in the den building. Okay, I see he know he might know a little something. NCCU supports ALS. I'm D.H. from Sutton with Eagle Access here with the new dance on the yard. I'm here with my boys, and they said the whip is the dance on the yard? Yeah. Of course. All right, can you describe that for me real quick? Um, basically, it's like, well, we've seen it on Vine and Twitter. They got like Twitter and Vine famous. And it's like basically like you're driving a car. You know what I'm saying? Like you whip uh, uh, uh. So when you hit it, you got to you gotta hit a ah, hey, ah, hey, 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 ah.
boys. Thank y'all for doing the dance for me. Thank you for doing it for Eagle Access. We out here. What's up, NCCU? I'm here again. Of course, I done scattered all over the cab and found the lovely Miss Mia, one of our class of 2018 incoming freshmen. So we're going to go ahead and see if she hip to what goes on and the things that's around at NCCU. Can you name at least four of the dorms that we have on campus? Yes, um, we have Richmond, we have um, New Red, Chidley, and Rush. Okay, she might know a little bit of things that are going on with the campus, so go ahead and tell me one last thing. Do you know where the community service building is? I actually don't know, and I'm sorry. This one gets a lot of people, but I'm going to go ahead and let everyone know the community service building is located right behind Eagleson. So if you go out of the back door, right behind Eagleson, in between Baines and in between the George Street apartments. It's Amari Collins here with Eagle Access on the Student Union Tour. And we're going to three schools today to get an idea of how we will construct and recreate our Student Union at NCCU. So our first stop is at UNCG. Come on. We went on a site assessment tour of um, three different student centers, one at UNC um, Greensboro, Winston-Salem State University and Elon University and we basically just assessed each student center and um, chose like what characteristics we like the most about each so that we can go back to the drawing board at our own university and kind of develop a floor plan of what we would like to see um, for our future Eagles that come with their new student center. After those three schools, what was your favorite school or your favorite student union? Um, I would have to say my favorite one was UNC Greensboro because of the variation of um, amenities that were offered for the students. Um, you could definitely see that they, they really took time to think about um, each member of their student body when they you know, composed each um, different characteristic. We're excited because we're in the process of building a new facility. We're doing the research to build a new uh, student center here on our campus here at NCCU. Uh, the process starts where we're going to do a referendum October 28th uh, on campus here. Uh, we will be uh, doing a petition. They also will be uh, uh, having some town series of town hall meetings so we can talk about some of the things that the students want in this facility. Hopefully it will be built by 2018, 2019 and it will be something that looks at our future. Uh, it will take us to where it will be the show place on this campus. It will be the front porch to our institution here. I'm here with Dantia Barrett, the junior class president. Um, so, Ms. Barry, I wanted to ask you, uh, what is, how do you feel about your, your new student union that you, you all just built, um, and what's your favorite aspect of the student union? I love the union. Um, my favorite part has to be the food court. I'm a fatty at heart. Um, also, the gym is amazing. We have a new recreational gym, and we have an amazing uh, weight room, workout room with dance studios, and, you know, I don't use it as much as I like, but... Um, I will start utilizing it more. We have, we also have a track um, surrounding the gym. So my man, Mr. Kenny Brown, up, VP, my doing? man, how you doing? You all right? Yeah, Everything good, good, brother. Yeah. So we're in y'all student union. So y'all just built it not too long ago. It's about a year old. It's about a year old. It's about a year old. So um, in this year old student union, what do you like the most, and what's your greatest aspect of this student union? Um, really, my favorite thing about the student union is the aspect of unity it brings. When we're in here late at night, after five, everybody just in here vibing with each other. You get something to eat at Popeye's, Subway, the grill, just unity, man. This is my brother, you know. Uh, you know all right, uh, <laughs> so, um, so Lean, how you like your student union? Man, I think the student union is wonderful, man. Uh, real uh, good establishment for the community as a whole, also as well as a uh, the student body here on campus. Uh, just a place for us guys to hang out or whatnot. Uh, you have various different things. I mean, even from the educational part uh, with the SGA office up there and um, the third floor, as well as uh, the different facilities for working out center. I mean, it's wonderful, it's great, it's great. It's wonderful, it's great, it's great. All right, I know him for real, um, but thank you. This is my brother once again, Salim Collins, Mr. Posse. Already senior year, graduating senior year at WSSU. We out here.
Some more accounts here, Eagle Access, live at the inauguration. I have the SGA president right here, Mr. Derek Hicks Jr. So Derek, I just want to quick um, talk to you about, you just got inaugurated. Right. Um, so how does it feel to be, you know, inaugurated as the SGA president here at North Carolina Central University? First off, Amar, thank you for allowing me to come to the show. It is an honor and also a privilege to be inaugurated as the president. My freshman year, you could not have told me that I would be here in this position. Um, it is an honor. I look forward to serving our student leaders. It's not about me. I'm all about helping others get where they want to go. I love this show. I'm going to continue to support this show, and I'm going to continue to support all of our student leaders. And next year, I look forward to having an awesome turnout like we did this fall for SGA election season, including the Royal Court, our Senate, and also Executive Board. So thank you so much for your time, and I appreciate you being our master of ceremonies. Thank you. Thank you so very much. I have the humble man himself. The SGA president, my man, your man, our man, Mr. Derrick Hicks Jr., SGA president. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello, everyone. I'm sitting here with the lovely Miss J. Safina. So last year she had a mixtape drop called Damaged Goods. So go ahead and tell me a few things about Damaged Goods. Um, Damaged Goods was basically my second EP. Mm. I am a writer. I write all of my own music, so it was kind of like a healing process for me. I was going through a lot of things mm -hmm. when I dropped it. <laughs> yeah. um, so it was, you know, it was just me letting everything out and just sharing my stories with everyone. Okay, so I've been told from a little birdie that you have an upcoming album. So go ahead and tell us what it is and where can we find it. Um, I do have an album that's dropping at the end of October. It's called Love J. And it can be found on my band camp, which is allin12.bandcamp.com. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So finally, go ahead and tell me what you're about to sing for us today. I will be singing Intoxicated. It was the single off of my second EP, Damaged Goods. And I hope you all enjoy it. All right. You heard it here first.
Thank you, Eagle Access.